Hey guys, in this video, I will be talking about Brian Kerning and Selgorthm. The Selgorthm is used to count number of set bits in a binary number, right? So if you think about a very simple brute force solution, that will be just iterating over the binary number and incrementing the counter whenever you hit a one, right? So you have this binary number, you increment over this and whenever you hit one, you increment the counter. This will give you result two. The time complexity here is big of n, where n is the num n is the length of the binary number, right? Because you have to iterate over the full binary number to get the number of set bits. Whereas in the case of a Brian and uh, Brian Kerning and Selgorthm, the time complexity is let's say big of k, where k is number of set bits. Right, so in this case, it will be just two. So how does this algorithm work? There's a very simple observation that if you see, if you understand this, then the whole algorithm is nothing much. Okay, so say you have a binary number 10 and a binary number nine. So if you notice this, what's happening here is after the rightmost set bit, whenever you subtract one from a decimal number, What's happening is after the rightmost set bit, the numbers are flipping, right? So this complete thing remains same, but after the rightmost set bit, the numbers are flipping. One became zero, zero became one. Similarly, if you say here in nine and eight, this is the rightmost set bit. I draw a line here. So this digit is flipping here, right? So what you can do here is in every programming language, you have a bitwise and operator. If you do 10 and 9, right? If you do n and n minus 1, what is essentially what are you getting from here? You will get a 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, right? Because this 0 cancelled out this one and this 0 cancelled out this one. So, what is this? What it did is suppose your 10 was n, this was n minus 1. When you did n and n minus 1, what you got is it removed the last set bit from n, right? So if you notice, the set bit is removed here. So when I did this operation one time, I removed the 1 once. If I do this operation k number of times, where k is the number of set bits, then I'll remove all of the ones and I'll have a counter that will indicate what's the number of set values here, right? So I hope you understood that. Let's move to an example and let's write it, write the program down, okay? So I have a REPL open here. Let's say the function name is count set bits, right? Which takes a decimal number n. To uh, have a counter, we have count set to zero in what we do while we have n we do n in n minus one we set n on every iteration we set n to n in n minus one right and we increase the counter so what's happening here is Whenever I do n in n minus 1, that is removing a set bit from the binary number, right? So suppose this n had two set bits. This operation, when the operation run one time, it will remove one set bit and we increase the counter by one. Then this while loop strike again, it sees, uh, it checks if n have any, if n is greater than zero, right? Because zero, 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 zero is zero. So if it's true, that means it have a set bit in it, right? It have at least one set bit in it. Then the operation run again, we remove that set bit, we increment the counter and we do this until we don't have any set bit in N. And at the end, when this while loop end ends, we return count, right? So that will be the solution here. So if you want to just test it out, I'll what I'll do, I'll just print the count set bit with let's say 10 because we already had that in the earlier description. So I'm going to run this down and this gave me 2, 
right? So because your 10 had two set bits. The time complexity here is big O of K. So as you can see, it's a very simple algorithm. If you just understand this concept, why what's happening when we are doing an AND operator on N, N, N minus 1. I hope you got this. Uh, I'll, I'll link down a link to my Medium article where I explained this in detail. So you can check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll keep adding more algorithms here and thanks for support.